Okay, so today we're going to be putting Fermata on an Arduino board and installing Fermata for Java on a Java program. We're going to start by downloading the Arduino IDE from the arduino.cc website. I'll complete the installation. I'm doing it in fast forward here. It takes a while. I'm doing it on Windows 11 on a Dell laptop. So I'm starting this off with an Arduino installation and I'm going to run Arduino and then I'm going to make sure that well, I get past the Windows Defender firewall and, and that sort of thing. Complete the driver installation within Arduino, but then I have to add in the Fermata library and I have to get the USB uh, driver, the CP2102 driver for the Grove Beginner Kit for Arduino from Seed Studio. So I do that installation. It's the 64-bit installation in this case. That'll be similar for most people. I've already done it in the, in the end, so I'm not going to complete the installation, but you'd have to complete the installation if you don't already have it. Next up, I'm looking for the Fermata examples, but it's not there, so I go to the um, Library Manager and get it from the Library Manager in the Arduino IDE. Select Standard Fermata, select my board, and I'm looking for my board, I unplug it, I plug it back in, I make sure that it's COM3 in this case, and I select Uno or Nano, either of these will work, and I download Standard Fermata onto my board. And we're good to go there. So now we have that on the board itself, now I have to go back to Java and create a new project. In this project, I need to add in uh, a package and then my main class, and then I'm going to add in the libraries. There are three of them. I'm going to add them in uh, based on this blog page right here. Okay, so there's three libraries, JSSC, Fermata for J, and SLF4J that I have to install in that order. Okay, and those particular version numbers, 2.94, 2.38, and 1.73. So I'm going to put in JSSC first, make sure it's in there, then Fermata for J, then SLF4J-JCL. And again, versions 2.9.4, 2.3.8, and 1.7.3. And again, in that order. And it turns out I did it wrong, and I'm going to have to redo it. You'll see that in a, in a moment. Um, but sometimes if you get compilation errors on a simple example like the one I'm doing right here where I've specified my USB port, I've got the imports correctly, um, sometimes you have to reinstall from scratch those three libraries. Now in this case, I'm going to be turning an LED on and off, so I'm going to be using 4 or D4 as the constant for setting up my pin. Now, I'm going to uh, start off here with putting my Arduino board as a new Fermata device, specifying the particular USB port, in this case COM3. I'm going to have a start and an ensure initialization is done method call. And I'm going to add to the method signature up there, IO exceptions and interrupted exception um, for exception handling. Now, running this, uh, I notice that I'm getting a starting connection and ending connection. We're all good. This is good to go. Um, so I don't seem to have any problems whatsoever. Now I can try and do the LED lighting on and off example. Okay, so I've got a simple program that works. Now I'm going to specify my LEDs or my simple LED. So uh, I declare a my LED object as type pin and I specify that it's supposed to be connecting to pin four and I'm going to set its mode to output and I'm going to set its value to on. Then I'm going to pause with a thread sleep. So uh, my LED set value one, thread sleep for a thousand milliseconds, my LED uh, set value to zero. That should turn it on and then off. So I'm going to run that. Starts the connection. Connects. All right. And there I should have had um, a connection to the board and the LED turn on and off. So take a look at your board to make sure that that's the case. All right. Now, sometimes I might Miss, mess up the, the COM port. So if I put COM5 and it was COM3 instead, I'll get an error like this. So if you've got the wrong COM port and you see an error like this, then you know you've got to switch up the COM port to the right one. 
see that error right there um, where it says that uh, can't start the Fermata device. It could be that your COM port has been named incorrectly. Okay. Now I'm going to remove my libraries right here. I'm going to reinstall them. I'm going to start doing it from the wrong order. Okay, just to see what ends up happening. Okay, just to specify that I maybe I did something wrong. And, um, and so if I did it wrong, you might end up seeing errors like this where the Fermata import is in red or the object or the, uh, the package doesn't exist. In that case, you want to reinstall those libraries. Okay. So I'm going to pretend I'm doing it wrong here. Oh, yeah, so I had the wrong libraries in here. This is the sort of error that would uh, would occur. Uh, the wrong version of SLF4J shows up. Okay, so let's make sure that we import those libraries correctly. So back to Maven. I start with JSSC 2.9.4 first. Then I'm going back to Maven and I'm going to import Fermata for Java first, or second, sorry, 2.3.8 then slf4j jcl and this is what we download for windows and mac m1 and m2 with um, mac intel you just need fermata for java and slf4j jcl all right so uh, that didn't seem to stick let's try this again up oh, see not all of the libraries got installed i probably didn't hit the right ok button let's do this again so I've got JSSC in there first, now Fermata for Java, and now let's put in SLF4J. So you got to be careful with this. You've got to get those libraries in right. Let's try it out. And compile it. Compiling is working. Fantastic starting the connection, so I'm running this now, and I should get an LED that flashes on and off. I get the warning about the different version of Fermata, but that's okay. We're looking good. So it looks like we've got a completed project that works. Libraries installed correctly. We're good to go. Mm -hmm.